Hey guys, Jeff from Show It Here, and today we're going to be talking about click actions. Click actions are the lifeblood of your site. It's how visitors are going to navigate to different pages within your site, find different content, and link out to external URLs like your social profiles, as well as a lot of other features. So let's take a look. First, let me say that a click action can be applied to any element in your website. So if I were to select text here, you'll see that I have this click actions tab over here in my properties panel. Likewise, if I were to select an image, I have that same click actions option. Um, the same is going to go for any icon. So if I select an icon here, this little box, uh, I can set a click action to it. Um, images, galleries, anything, absolutely anything that's clickable inside of your website, you can apply a click action to. So let's talk about the different types. For this example, we're going to be in the header. So this is going to be a pretty prime example of navigating within your website. So let's say I want to link my about navigation option here to my about page. So if I just wanted to link to the page itself, I would choose the page link type, and then I would simply choose the about page. That is it. We'll preview it here, and now you see if I click about, it's going to take me to the about page here. Now let's say that I wanted to link a specific canvas on my about page. So now let's use that same about example, but let's say that I wanted to link to a specific canvas on my about page. So I'll go to my about page, and let's say that I want to link specifically to this about Jeff canvas here. You'll see that this canvas has some information about me and a picture that is definitely me. So if I wanted to link to this specific canvas, I would need the canvas slug. So if I click canvas here, and then I look name, second line here is slug, I'll see that it's about Jeff. So I'm just actually going to copy this slug right here, just like that. And I'm going to add that to our click action. So let me go back to my home page. So if I go back to this about click action and I want it to go straight to that specific canvas, all I have to do is add the slug right in there. And then if I had multiple canvas views, I could specify a specific view if I wanted to as well. Also within click actions, you'll always get these options to open in a new window, ask Google not to follow that link, or to submit a contact form, which is only applicable to your submit button on your contact form. So now if I preview and click this about option, you'll see it's going to take me directly to that canvas that I had set it up to go to instead of the general about page. All right, while I'm here in my menu, I wanna show you a couple other handy click actions. You'll see I have a phone number listed here. So if I choose a click action type of phone, I can type in my phone number here, and you're going to want the country code. So in the US, we have one for our country code, and you want um, no formatting, you just want the, the numbers to run right together here. So my phone number in this case is um, fives, as you can see. So this is how I would format that, just a one, and then the entire phone number with no dashes, spaces, or formatting. Likewise, you'll see I have an email option here. If I choose the email click action type, I can specify an email as shown here. Let's preview this. So now if I click this email, once I click on it here, it's going to load up my mail client, and as you'll see, it's got that email address preloaded to send off a message. Now you'll see in the preview, if I click on the phone number, it's going to ask me if I want to make a call from FaceTime because I'm on my laptop. If I were on my phone, it would simply ask to confirm if I wanted to call this number. I could simply press call and be in touch with the business. This next click action type that we're going to talk about here is going to be the social option. Now this social option is going to allow you to let viewers share your content to their social platforms. So a couple of great use cases for this social link type would be at the bottom of a blog post so that your readers could share that post to their social networks. Alternatively, if I have something like maybe a lead magnet or a freebie, like this one I've created for an example here, five tips to look your best in every photo. You'll notice I've set up a social sharing canvas down here below. Now, if I click one of these icons, you'll see that the link type is set to social, and then I get this secondary dropdown where I can choose social platforms. So now if I preview my free resource page here and I scroll down, I can choose one of these share options. I can simply click this icon to share. You'll see it pops up this window and it's going to preload this link right into my Facebook so I can share to my newsfeed or story. Now let's talk about an extremely versatile click action type, the URL click action. One really great use case for a URL click action is your social media icons. This way you can link out to your social profiles so that visitors to your website can follow you on those platforms. So the important thing to remember when linking URLs is that you want to pull the full URL 
from the page you're trying to link. So in this example, I've got the show it page pulled up here, and you'll see that the address is facebook.com slash show it. So if I were to go in here and just simply key this in, it seems like it should be as simple as that. However, we need the full web formatting here, otherwise show it will think that we're trying to reference a page within the site. So if I preview, if I've just keyed in www.facebook.com slash show it, if I scroll down here and try and navigate to that page, you'll see here that it's just adding my domain slash that address that I had keyed in. That's because it doesn't have the full HTTPS slash slash all that jazz. So to make sure you don't have that issue or have a broken link on a newly launched site, I always say just go ahead and open up that social profile in a new tab, copy the entire URL right out of the browser, and then jump over to show it and go ahead and paste it right in there. Now you'll see it's got that full web formatting as needed. And if I preview here and go down to Facebook again and click, you'll see it's going to open that page right up for me, just like that. Now, a quick pro tip on URL click action types. You'll usually wanna check this box, open a new window, which is going to allow that new URL to be opened in a new browser tab so that the viewer is not navigating away from your website. Last but not least, I wanna talk about these additional actions found on the click actions tab. You can add them by simply clicking the add button right here. And then we have some options to show a site canvas, hide a site canvas, and we have a gallery option. Let's talk a little bit about that, what that means. A great example is your mobile menu here. So if I select this canvas, you'll see that under the canvas tab, it's got a hidden to start setting here. That means that this canvas is going to be hidden until we tell it to show. Likewise, it will remain visible unless we tell it to hide away. That's where this add action comes in. So if I click the X on my mobile navigation menu here, you'll see that we've added this action to hide site canvas, this site canvas. If I cycle through, you'll see that that same action has been added to all of our mobile navigation options. This add action tells this canvas to hide when a menu option is selected. In the same fashion on our header here, our menu icon, if I click on that, it is going to be set to show site canvas mobile nav. That is how that navigation menu is going to pull up is with this simple add action. All right, the last of the add actions here is our gallery action. This is going to allow you to set the controls for your gallery navigation if you're using icons to cycle through the images in a gallery. So in this instance, you'll see that the add action I've set on this right arrow is a gallery type. Target is gallery one. I have a list I can choose from here. And the action is next. So you'll see that you get a certain number of actions through here that you can use. And the inverse is set here. Now the biggest question with this particular setting is how do you know what target to set? To answer that question, you have to click on the gallery itself that you are trying to control. So if I click on this gallery here, and then I go to my gallery settings tab, you'll see there is an image area option here. And we get those same 10 gallery settings. So you can set the gallery number here, and then you can go in and set your additional action and you need to make sure that that target is the same as the number of your gallery. This feature allows you to have multiple galleries on a page that all advance to the next or previous image by clicking one icon. Likewise, it allows you to have multiple galleries on the same canvas with independent controls for each gallery.